It's Tuesday, everyone, and you know what that means. It's time for the Sports Report. My name is Emma Lightfoot, your host for today's episode. Coming up in today's sports news, the Oklahoma State Cowboys stay in Stillwater tonight for another matchup against Wichita State, and the OSU women's golf team looks to leave their mark on Fort Worth this week. More on this coming up next. <laughs> The number five ranked OSU Cowboys stay in Stillwater this week after a thrilling Bedlam Series win against OU. After dropping the first game of the series to the Sooners with a score of 8-7, to seven, the Cowboys had to fire back over the course of the next two games. And they did just that. The Pokes were able to pull off two wins against OU, clinching a Bedlam Series win. With this win, OSU increases their all-time Bedlam win-loss record to 41-26. and 26. Heading into tonight's home matchup against the Wichita State Shockers, the team will look to extend their success into this week. The Shockers are now 13-18 and 18 on the season, coming off of a series loss this weekend to the East Carolina Pirates. In tonight's game, keep an eye on OSU's Rock Riggio, who was just named the Big 12 Conference Co-Newcomer of the Week for Week 8. Riggio finished the Bedlam Series going 6-for-17 at the plate, racking up three doubles, two home runs, and five RBIs on the weekend. As the season progresses, the fr team's freshman second baseman has played an increasingly integral role in the Cowboys' success, and it doesn't look like he plans on slowing that down anytime soon. The matchup between the Cowboys and Shockers will be hosted right here in Stillwater at O'Brate Stadium tonight at 6 o'clock. Head on over to O'Brate tonight wearing your brightest orange, live stream on ESPN+, or follow live game updates on Twitter at OSU Baseball. Now for some Oklahoma State women's golf updates. The number seven ranked OSU women's golf team is competing in the Brizzy this week, a tournament hosted by the University of North Texas at the Water Chase Golf Club in Fort Worth. The tournament teed off yesterday, starting the competition among the 14 teams in the tournament. The standings after the first day of play look promising for OSU, with Baylor in the lead, OSU in second, TCU in third, Tulane in fourth, and Texas in fifth, with the remaining teams looking to improve their standing by the end of today. The Cowgirls and Baylor are the only two teams that finish the day under par, with all five Cowgirls finishing the first two rounds in the top 20. Today's action kicked off at 8.30 a.m. this morning, serving as the final day of competition for the Cowgirls before the Big 12 Championship Tournament next weekend in Hockley, Texas at the clubs at Houston Oaks. You can follow your Cowgirls with live stats available on golfstat.com or look for live tournament updates on Twitter at OSU Cowgirl Golf. And that does it for today's show. Thank you all for tuning in to this episode of the Sports Report. Once again, my name is Emma Lightfoot, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 1230 for another episode, and I will see you again next Tuesday.